Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm starting off Halloween season this week. I'm so, so excited. I'm going to be doing it for the whole month of October. I've got so many exciting looks planned. I can't wait to show you them all. And I'm starting off with this American Horror Story inspired spider eyeball. Now, I only did one eye because I wasn't going anywhere or anything and I just wanted to show you this basic tutorial. So I'm starting off by just applying my foundation which I'm using a slightly lighter shade which is NYX Cosmetics Pale Total Control Drop Foundation and just blending that in with my beauty blender. So then I'm going in with my concealer, this is my Collection Last Imperfection Concealer in the lightest shade which is light and this is still a bit too dark for this foundation colour so if you're of my complexion I would recommend adding a bit of white in next time. Next up is the brows, so I've been loving using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the colour Medium Brown. This photographs really well for Instagram so I love using this for close up eye photographs because it just really carves out your brows and makes them look nice and precise. I'm doing them very heavy today with a strong carved underneath of the brow um, because I want it to stand out in photographs. I would not do this if I was going out but some people just prefer this style of brow anyway. So I'm just feathering through the product and sort of pushing harshly along the bottom to get that harsh line. And then just come through with the spoolie and now onto the eyes. So I'm starting off with Painterly Paint Bot by MAC and I set that with Bitter Start Eyeshadow from Zoeva. I'm first going in with the colour Bedrock by Makeup Geek. This is sort of a taupey brownish light grey. This is the only sort of light grey eyeshadow I have. Um, so if you have a better one definitely go ahead and use that. You just want a light grey to start defining the socket roughly. I just put a bit of colour through the crease and then I'm starting with a flat packing brush to pack colour around the centre of the lid to create a circle shape. I'm then going in with Noir Eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just a plain black. Again use whatever you have at hand and I'm creating more of a harsh line to really get some definition and make that centre of the lid look round like the spider's body is underneath my eyelid. I just repeated the steps with the same shadow colours on the lower lash line and just blended that out a bit. Next up I'm going in with Electra eyeshadow by MAC Cosmetics and this is just a light grey eyeshadow. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it so it's just going to make that lid centre pop a little bit more, make it look a bit more 3D. Again, use whatever you like and then I'm taking Aria Highlighter by Give Face Cosmetics and I just wanted it to pop a little bit more so I'm just applying that very in the centre of the lid. And while I'm at it, I'm just highlighting around the eye itself so on the inner corner as usual, the brow bone to give it a little bit of lift and then I went in with a larger brush which is my Morphe M501 and I just highlighted lightly along the cheekbone as when I take photos of my eye for Instagram this usually just pops in the corner. And after I'd applied all of my highlighter shades, I felt like the depth had got a bit lost. So I went in again with Noir by ABH and just added a bit more definition around the centre of the lid. I'm then curling my lashes and applying a little bit of mascara. This is Ico Lash Alert Mascara. Again, it doesn't really matter what you use here, just something to coat your lashes to prep for falsies. These are Eldora M112 lashes. Very, very affordable Eldora, I definitely would recommend, especially for Halloween, they have some really, really crazy styles and I'm just going in with these and placing them with tweezers. I'm then going in with my Meron Black Paradise paint and this is just a water activated paint. You could even use eyeliner or Snazaroo do a really affordable water activated black paint. And I'm just starting and painting the spider legs out. So you don't want these to be just straight, you want them to have some irregularities to them. So I'm looking at the reference image of the American Horror Story poster, just trying to keep looking at it and get it as anatomically correct as the photo shows. 
Just something you want to keep in mind when doing these spider legs is you want to keep them thicker at the base near your eye and taper off to a smaller point towards the end. So then I'm taking some eyeshadows to do some shading and shadows underneath those legs. It's going to help make it look a lot more 3D. So I start off with bedrock on a tiny little precise shader brush and I apply this all underneath the leg basically up right towards my eye and then I go in with noir right underneath the foot and this is gonna create a lot of depth and a lot of dimension and really make those legs pop. So the key thing you want to keep in mind here is where the foot is touching the skin you want the shadows to be more sharp and defined with a darker colour and the further away you get from where the foot is supposed to be touching your skin you want to really diffuse the shadow and that'll just give it a 3D effect. Also I'm adding a bit of darker shadow towards my eye underneath the spider's head and that's going to create depth underneath the spider's body itself. I also just applied a bit of contouring for a dramatic effect along my nose, you don't have to do this part, this was just for the photo. So that's it to the start of my Halloween tutorials this year, wanted to kick it off with something quick and simple. If you guys decide to recreate this please tag me on Instagram, all my social media will be linked in the description box below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to make sure you will see those Halloween videos coming up shortly.